I've been on the road in my tiny home on wheels for quite a while now, and it has made me do some pretty weird things. I have been naked in Walmart parking lots, rest areas, gas stations, and get your mind out of the gutter, no, it was for changing and bathing in my van, of course. I have been lost in the woods for hours on end all by myself. I've slept in the desert in really scorching temperatures, and I have challenge myself to be in freezing temperatures to see if my van could handle it. I have also probably talked about poop and pee more than anybody ever should in their lifetime. But today I am going to be sharing with you the three weirdest things that van life made me do that I never would have expected. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Dee and this is my 2010 Ford Transit Connect Ladybug Out. About four years ago, I decided to venture into van life and make this tiny van my alternative home. And it has challenged me in every way possible. But the three most profound things that van life made me do, I would have never expected. The first thing van life made me do is to think differently, mainly about myself, but that extends to everyone and everything else. I used to think that I wasn't smart enough to solve problems on my own or strong enough to build things. And now I am thriving in doing all of those things. I had heard a message a long time ago, and if I find it, I will have it linked below but the point was the most important things that you say come after the two words I am and so you need to be very careful about what you say after those two words for instance if you are kind of accustomed or programmed to either think these things or say them out loud like oh I'm so stupid or I'm lazy or I'm unworthy in whatever words those come out as. You need to stop and immediately replace them with something that is positive about yourself. And if it feels too hard for you to go directly from I'm ugly to I'm beautiful, replace it with something that is more true of yourself in the moment. Like I am starting to reflect on the outside how I feel on the inside or replace I'm lazy with I'm becoming mindful of the ways that I need to rest in order to have a productive day or whatever those things are you get the idea right it's a subtle shift in the way that you are framing yourself to yourself and it is very profound and bonus points if you start to do that with other people too. In the same way, a lot of what we think about ourselves comes from what we pay attention to or are giving our attention to. What you let in to your mind affects you. And so you need to be careful about what you're reading, what you're watching, what you're listening to, because all of those things can have a profound effect on the way you are perceiving yourself and feeling about yourself. I like to listen to podcasts when I'm driving down the road that help me to become a better version of myself and learn things that I didn't know before or think a different way than I hadn't thought before and get new perspectives. I also like to watch YouTube videos and learn new things. I like to read on subject matter that I am trying to learn about so that I can expand my mind. Those are just a few examples, but the point is, if something that I am watching or reading or listening to isn't moving me to become a better version of myself, I have to question why I am letting that into my mind. The second thing that van life made me do is to get more active with my body and with my hands. And I remember when I first started out thinking, wow, I can do anything I want to potentially. But the thing is that as I thought about it, 
I realized that the things that I wanted to do that made me happy were the simpler things like taking a long walk or sitting by a campfire with someone or watching a sunset on my deck. Those simple things just made me feel better inside. And I began to think of it more as purpose with a little p. So instead of thinking of some huge grandiose thing that I had to do to prove that I am still alive and still worthy of sucking air, I decided to do those small things every day that I knew that I would stick with because they made me feel good and they made me happy. So instead of thinking, oh my gosh, I have to go to the gym every day and work out for hours so that I can stay fit, I thought, what are those movements that I enjoy doing that I know that I'm gonna stick with? And it could be one or two things and I just am consistent with them and over time, they make a difference in my life. So I started to think of those little small things that I know I'm gonna do. Another example would be, if I eat these bad foods, I'm going to get fat or this is so bad for me. And I started thinking of what are the healthy tips that I know would be helpful to my body and to me? And what are the foods that are healthy for me that I do enjoy? Because there's a lot of healthy foods that I don't enjoy. But if I could just pick those few little things that I know that I like, I am more likely to continue to do it. And that will have a benefit over time. Instead of jumping on some bandwagon or saying, oh, today I'm gonna be this or that. No, what are the little tips that I hear that I go, oh, that's interesting. I think that I would like that. And then try it. And if I like it, I know I'm gonna to stick to it. Like for instance, I really love organic chocolate, so I like to bake with organic cocoa. You get it. The point is, what are those small, seemingly insignificant things that you can do every day that will make your life or somebody else's life better? And it doesn't have to be a huge thing. You can maybe smile at someone or write a letter or make that call to somebody that you haven't reached out to for a while. It could be giving of your time or your resources or your skills in some way that will help somebody else out. So those are all small purposeful actions that you can take each day that will make you feel better and begin to make this world a better place. And the third thing that van life made me do and it's probably the weirdest one of all for me. It may not be something for you that's weird, but it really began to make me feel what I'm feeling. It regulated my nervous system enough to see that in a lot of circumstances before, I may have been reacting to a person or a situation for what it was doing to me rather than how do I feel and how do I want to feel throughout this day? And checking in with myself constantly. So now I could be <laughs> going down the road and if somebody cuts me off or beeps at me or something, I'm more likely to go, oh, wow, I wonder what's going on with them today because that was really uncalled for. Whereas before I might've gone, oh no, I've done something wrong. And it is like that with people too. So if I am in a situation where there's a group of people and I happen in on it like a campfire or something that's going on and I get a bad vibe or something where in the past that really might have affected me, I can now go, whoa, wait a minute, what's going on here? And I'm more likely to just walk away from the situation and not get involved with it and let it affect me in the ways that it used to. And that is really different for me. As I said before, I am a lot more intentional now about who I listen to and what I let in. And if those things are not making me a better version of myself, and if the people I'm hanging around with are not making me a better version of myself, then I need to question, why am I really spending time there? And if there is a situation 
that is making me feel agitated or unsafe or like I am being harmed or hurt in any way, I am much more likely to recenter myself until I know what that was all about, whether it was something that I need to change about myself or if it was just all out there somewhere and I have nothing to do with it. And that is something that I really believe that van life made me do in slowing down, spending some time in solitude. I really have gotten more in touch with my feelings and that was totally unexpected. So there you have it, the three things that van life made me do that I never thought it could have. If you have anything that you would like to add, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Snow angels? <laughs> oh. Tyson with the attitude! Tyson, I didn't mean it! For her to eat, so she catch them. <laughs>